The Voyager spacecraft are bound for the stars. They're on escape trajectories from the solar system, barreling along at almost a million miles a day. The gravitational fields of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune have flung them at such high speed they've broken the bonds that once tied them to the sun.
grasped by the sun's gravity in every direction in the sky is that immense horde of a trillion comets or more, an Oort cloud. The two Voyager spacecraft will finish their passage through the Oort cloud in another 20,000 years or so. Then at last, completing their long goodbye to the solar system, broken free of the gravitational shackles that once bound them to the sun, the Voyagers will make for the open sea of interstellar space. transmitters long dead, the spacecraft will wander for ages in the calm, cold, interstellar blackness. Once out of the solar system, they will remain intact for a billion years or more as they circumnavigate the center of the Milky Way galaxy. We do not know whether there are other spacefaring civilizations in the Milky Way. If they do exist, we don't know how abundant they are much less where they are. But there is at least a chance that sometime in the remote future, one of the Voyagers will be intercepted and examined by an alien craft.
five millennia ago, mankind began the first tentative steps to the stars.
then at last, completing their long goodbye to the solar system, broken free of the gravitational shackles that once bound them to the sun. <laughs> escape trajectories from the solar system, barreling along at almost a million miles a day.
transmitters long dead. The spacecraft will wander for ages in the calm, cold, interstellar blackness.
there is at least a chance that sometime in the remote future, one of the voyages will be intercepted and examined by an alien craft.
broken free of the gravitational shackles that once bound them to the sun.
blackness.